السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. In the second half of Surah Al-Waqra, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is communicating to this Ummah, Ummah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and you will notice a lot of ibadat, worship ayat are coming, ayat of fasting, ayat of Hajj. In the midst of this ayat, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is giving us instruction about the etiquettes of divorce. Those of you who have recited, even in Arabic as a foreign language, the second half of Surah Al-Waqra, you will notice. The word talaq, divorce, will repeat quite often. Talaqu marratan wa in talaqtu muhna wa idha talaqtu munisa. The word talaq will repeat multiple times. In fact, if you will see that four to five pages of Surah Al-Baqarah are dedicated dedicated about etiquettes of divorce, and there is an entire surah ch- chapter named Surah Talaq, and you won't find this when you will going to seek for Surah Surah Al-Nikah because there is no Surah Al-Nikah. There is only Surah Al-Talaq. Now the question is why there is so much emphasis on teaching the Muslim community the etiquettes of divorce. It's not about one is more important than other, obviously. The reason for this, wallahu alam, the reason which it seems like is that for Muslims it's very easy to start the relationship in a decent way, but we don't know how to end or dissolve the relationship in a decent way. So when we are starting a relationship, especially for nikah, we know how to start that. We celebrate, but if We have to dissolve that relationship. Wallahi, most of us become non-practicing Muslim while dissolving that relationship. The kinds of accusation we put on each other is simply unimaginable, and that is the reason why Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is emphasizing a little bit extra on the etiquettes of divorce, so that we don't lose our religion and we don't lose our practice in Islam. And that is why the word ma'aruf and taqwa is repeated multiple times when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is. Uh, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking about the etiquettes of divorce. Maruf means be reasonable, and taqwa means remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and be God conscious. I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to take us inspiration from these passages of the Quran. Jazakumullah khair.